okay so now we look at an equivalent expression equivalent form of the expression this integral expression of integral j bar dot dl bar by mod psi square plus the magnetic flux should be equal to n phi naught we look at the equivalent expression associated with this same x equation so to do that first let us consider that mod of psi square is equal to mod of psi naught square which is equal to the density of cooper pairs and this is roughly constant it is not going to depend on the integration over the curve okay over this curve c so what we will take is that we will take it out of the integration so m by 2 e square mod of psi naught square this is j bar dot dl bar plus integral of b bar dot ds bar is equal to n phi naught because this magnetic flux is nothing else but this okay now integral over the curve c j bar dot dl bar is nothing else but integral over the curve c curl of b bar dot dl bar which is again integral over a surface s curl of curl of b bar dot ds bar okay so therefore and if i look at lambda gl the whole square lambda gl the whole square is essentially this so this term is lambda gl the whole square so lambda gl the whole square integral over the surface s curl of curl of b bar dot ds plus integral b bar dot ds is equal to n phi naught and now we can rewrite this as integral over the surface s lambda gl the whole square curl of curl of b bar dot ds bar uh, sorry curl of curl of b bar plus b bar dot ds bar is equal to let us take n is equal to 1 okay then this is phi naught integral delta square r ds over the surface s this is the two dimension delta function so your lambda gl the whole square curl of sorry curl of b bar plus b bar is equal to phi naught delta 2r okay or now we know that curl of curl of b bar is nothing else but minus delta square b bar because divergence of b is equal to 0 divergence of b is equal to 0 so therefore your above equation becomes lambda gl the whole square delta square b minus b is equal to minus phi naught square delta 2 r bar so your equation m by n uh, m by 2 e square integral j bar dot dl bar by mod psi square plus magnetic flux phi is equal to n phi naught is essentially the same as this expression okay one is written in the integral form and the other is in terms of this and what is important to see here is that if the this is delta 2 okay if your there is no flux there is no flux quanta associated with the system if 
there is no flux quanta in the curve C then of course the phi naught square delta R is equal to 0 and then the equation becomes lambda gl the whole square del square b is equal to b or del square b is equal to 1 by lambda square b this is nothing else but the london's equation so this above equation that we have got is a modified form of the london's equation lambda gl the whole square del square b minus b is equal to minus phi naught delta 2 r this equation is a modified version of london's equation if inside the superconductor if this is the curve c over which you are integrating your integral j bar dot dl bar by mod of psi square m by n e square plus phi plus is equal to n phi naught if this is the curve c over which you are doing the integration and there is a flux phi which is enclosed within this region then the equation which describes this is going to be this so if the curve c encloses a flux then the flux distribution is going to be governed by the distribution of magnetic field around the region which contains the magnetic flux is going to be governed by the field distribution the b distribution around the region with flux magnetic flux is going to be governed by this equation okay so this is a very important consequence of the second ginzburg landau equation which has two equivalent form you can either write it like this or you can write it like this differential equation and this differential equation basically gives you the distribution of magnetic field this helps you to find out the distribution of magnetic field around a region containing magnetic flux if the curve if your superconductor so this is your superconductor if your superconductor this is the curve C around which you do the integration this is the curve C around which you do the integration and this region contains zero flux then the B distribution of the system is just delta square b is equal to 1 by lambda square b this is going to be the only thing that will so you might as well take the curve as equal to this the curve you might as well take it equal to this you can expand it out to this regions to this corner so that it encloses all the currents which are present inside the system and you take it along the edge so this is your curve c you take it along the edge so that this will govern what is the magnetic field distribution inside the superconductor okay and this magnetic field uh, distribution is going to be which just which is just a direct outcome of the above expression but if the superconductor develops these vortices which have these normal regions containing magnetic flux then the flux the equation which governs the magnetic field distribution around these regions is given by the above equation so this is a very important consequence of the ginzburg landau equation